In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can check your private relay email addresses on your iPad. The first thing you need to do is to open the settings application. Now you want to click on your name at the very top and inside the Apple account settings, you want to find iCloud and tap into that. Now you want to scroll down slightly until you find hide my email and tap into that. And then you'll see a list of all of your private relay email addresses that you have created. As you can see, I've only got one email address, so I'm going to tap into that. When you tap into it, it's going to tell you more information, such as the private relay email itself, and the email address that it is forwarding the emails to. You'll also see a label and a note if you have one as well. Now, if you want to deactivate a private relay email address, you want to tap into it like this, and then you want to select the deactivate email address, and in the pop-up, you want to select deactivate. Once you are taken back to the email list screen, here you see inactive email addresses, so you want to tap into that, and then you see them listed here. We can go ahead and reactivate them if you'd wish to do so. If you want to create a new private relay email address, you can either do this through Safari, or you can do it in the settings screen here, where you can click to create new email address, and then you want to go ahead and select your private relay email, and then you want to go ahead and give it a label. So I'm going to call it burner, and you can also give it a notive as well. And once you're ready, you want to select next. And then your private relay email address will be created. If you want to select which email address your emails get forwarded to, you simply want to select forward to. And then you should see a list of emails here that you can select from. By default, it's going to be the email address that you are signed into the Apple account with. However, if you've attached multiple emails to your Apple account, and then you'll see them here. And that's it. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like. And if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them below.